That doesn't exist either, is that true? No, okay. but it exists on our wiki page. Yeah, yeah, we passed on him. He's like, have you watched it all the way through? And he's like, mm, no. This hasn't happened before. And that I know. I'm of. feeling like it has. It has? Welcome. Thank you. Now you're a New York guy. You're I am. Were you born and raised in New York? No, I was actually born and raised in Irvine. In no California. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No way, but then yeah. you're a musical theater guy, so you did Broadway, yeah. and you did, yeah. I did all that in New York. Care to uh, sing? I, um, no, no, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I did all that we in New York. We'll, we'll warm you up if We you can? Like. Yeah. Okay, well, you maybe later. Vocal warm, okay. right? <laughs> so, but yeah. yeah, so how are you finding the West Coast? Is it the best coast? It's, I don't know, it's the best coast. I don't know. Maybe because it's That's my home. That's such a valley girl yeah, thing exactly. to say. I know, but it's great because it's like I get to be here for work and then my family's only like, you know, 40 minutes that's away. Great. And that's, I haven't had that since college, so it's been just Oh, awesome. that's great. Yeah. Do you have a vague memory? Because I've like from childhood, because I have vague memories that I wish I could relive. I wish I could go back and really. I like, Experience I have vague me. memories, but then they all like, skew towards just like the outfits my mother put me in. I'm just like, why am I a little sailor in was this picture? Was it like Harry Diaries? <laughs> Wait it was basically, yeah. Was it? No. Really? Mom didn't dress you well? No, I mean, it was, <laughs> no offense to mom, mom, but you know, she had, I have an older sister and then she had me and then she thought, you know, like, you know, the, my sister has those like those dance pictures of the dance recital photos and stuff. And then she's like, oh, well, Kyle will do the same kind of pose in this picture. And I'm just in like, the same outfit. Yeah, so everyone comes over and I'm like, pay no attention to the sailor suit as a oh, four-year-old. Oh, the picture's still on the wall? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aww. They're there. They're there. But, she, but she's proud. I of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay, so I watch the pilot and you're just like, it just whizzes by because you get so involved in it from minute one, I would say. It comes at you fast. Basically, we work for this Stitches program, which is this NSA secret agency that has the technology to put a living consciousness into the minds of the recently deceased to uncover the mystery of how uh, like a murder took place. And then from that information, we solved the crime. I read something really funny that you said. You said it was one of those shows that if a girl's watching, her boyfriend's gonna not be mad. Yeah. Because there's certain shows that girls will watch and the guy's like, uh. Mm -hmm. But you said this is one or... of those that guys will like too. Yeah. Everybody like, and it's a procedural show, which is a mm -hmm. first for ABC Family. Yeah. How do you think it's a fresh take though on any procedural shows that have been done before? There are these like, you know, young people that are running this technology in this like secret government agency. Eight billion dollar thing technology, or so, yeah. exactly. So why are you letting me put my hands on this stuff? And they're kind right. of like, you know, like Google Techs in a way, where it's like the right. geniuses that are like, you know, smart is the new sexy, and it's like they, you're watching that, and it's appreciated, and like. The girls are very confident, strong women that are portraying these characters, and the guys are just like making, you know, nerds shine in a different light. So on the show, you guys are neuroscientists, mm -hmm. but and you're not allowed to tell your friends or family. Right. In life, do you think you would be good at keeping a secret like that if you had that kind of no? Terrible. <laughs> really? Terrible really? at keeping secrets. I mean, like, when it's something like that, I would at least tell someone. I feel like I'd have to. Just tell the dog. Just tell the dog. <laughs> the dog won't tell anybody. I know, we're tight. You'll be you'll you'll be fine with <laughs> yeah. that. So Emma, who's the lead on the show, yes. she's stunning and so talented by the way. She's um so she has this thing called temporal dysplasia, mm -hmm. which that doesn't exist either. Is that true? No, okay. but it exists on our wiki page that we Oh really? <laughs> You're making up Yeah, exactly. Which means that she has no concept of time on what occasion do you completely lose track of time and on what occasion does time pass incredibly slowly? Please don't say this interview. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I lose track of time whenever like, I feel like I'm getting ready for something. Cause I'm like, oh, I'll give myself a half hour. And then like, I'm just like getting, like doing my hair or something. And I'm just like, oh no, I'm late can for this audition. Can I call audition. you out? You can call me out, yeah. You did get your hair done before. I did get my hair done. I did. <laughs> you were in our green room. I gotta get that haircut where I can. It looks fantastic though. Thank you, thank you. So thank you. you are, no, but this is good. So like, you're not one of those guys with the girlfriends like, honey, come on, you're no, late. No, I still am. <laughs> I take a long time. You're taking just as but long. But she takes twice as long. Okay. But then the passage of time going, the traffic, I feel yeah. like sitting out here and living through that is one thing yeah. that I'm not used to yet, where I, they're like, 45 minutes to get to your destination, and it feels like an hour and a half has gone by, and then you're actually looking at your GPS, and it's like, oh no, it actually has been an hour and a half, and right. I just haven't been paying attention, so. And then she also has sort of these experiences of sort of like deja vu yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, everything feels like it's happened before to her. Ever have that? Ever had that? 
Yeah, in a weird way. I mean, like everyone's got deja vu, but I, I don't know what that is. And if they're always in the most random times where I'm like, this is, this hasn't happened before. And that I know. I'm feeling like it has. It has? Yeah. I feel the connection, but I don't know <laughs> this exact moment with the camera. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I want to know about your audition process. Did you feel like My, you're going to get it? Was What was the moment when so you were told? It's a funny story. The audition process was the, the breakdown came and it said it was looking for a nerdy Seth Rogen. <laughs> and I was like, looking at this. That's me. Yeah, no, never. And so I was just like, well, not getting this. But you know, as the actors do, they're like, why not try? And so I, uh, I went in for it in New York, tried to dress the parts as best I could. And I, uh, I got a phone call about like a week and a half later from my manager saying, they want to give you a screen test. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, today. And they, I'm like, are they going to, uh, do I have to get on a plane? He's like, I don't know, I'll call you back. Calls me back, maybe five minutes later, he's like, they want to put you on tape again in New York. I was like, oh crap, I've got to go learn all this stuff. Same day, I went back to the studio in, uh, in New York, shot it. I was like, okay, well, that's that. You know, they're watching so many different tapes and the showrunner was like, ah, he's too squirrely or something. He was like, yeah, he's too, yeah, I don't know. So Is this I was the like, person you now work with? Yeah. Do you call him out? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and so then the producer, Rob Wolken, he was like, have you watched Kyle Harris's tape? He's just like, yeah, yeah, we passed on him. He's like, have you watched it all the way through? And he's like, no. And so thanks to him, he showed everyone the tape all the way through. And I kind of had them at goodbye, more so than hello. But really? the last moment is when they were like, yep, that's our guy. They're calling it a death-defying drama. Any death-defying things that you've done in your life? Any uh, skydiving situation? I've done or... indoor skydiving. What? Yeah. Well, oh, is that when they it's like, where you, make like it... you, <laughs> you float. Wait, were you in Vegas? No, I did in San Diego, but <laughs> really? I've seen it in Vegas. Yeah, and I'm so bad at it. My girlfriend got it for me for like a Christmas present or something one year, and she was like, Wee! And I was just like, this sucks. I just like hovered up against the wall the entire time. I couldn't do it. I bet your hair looks good though. It was just a blowout. It was crazy. <laughs> Ew, I bet you yeah. had it going. <laughs> like a wind machine. Yeah, yeah. I would do it just for that. Uh, right? <laughs> Be like, there it is. my mirror. And then you're ready to go. There was something on your Instagram about a 3D printer. Yeah, action we have action figures. Figure of themselves. Yeah. Which 3D printing blows my mind. I can't, I still can't grasp it. So if you could. 3D print anything. 3D print anything? What would it be? A house? Yes! That would take, a great one. I'd be like Free 80 house. by the time it was done. Um, a house. Yeah, it would take a while with the current technology. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So I don't really know what 3D printing can do, but I think a house seems not too much to ask. That's a great idea. Anyway, thank you for coming in. Please, thank you for having me. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Come back again for next season. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank <laughs> there you. you go. Thanks. <laughs>